Another big fight coming up for you here then. Jake Butler versus Jack Watson. Jack Watson boxing out of Whistable Kickboxing. He's had five fights, five wins, two KOs. Jake Butler boxing from Essex. Uh, I believe he's had a few fights. Looks like quite an accomplished boxer straight away in the early of the rounds here. And this is a four two minute round fight in the light welterweight division for a oh, Kent title. Fight here, Gaz. I mean, uh, Jake called it, called it on with uh, Jack. He thinks he's confident to beat him. I mean, all this week, we didn't know if the fight was going to happen. Jake was in, Jake was out, Jake was in, Jake was out, and then he turned up to the weigh-in, so it's game on. But everyone knows how good Jack Watson is, and he's a tough boy to beat. Yeah, I can't say I know too much about these two fighters, to be honest with you, Liam. Obviously, you being from Whistable Kickboxing, you know a bit more about Jack than what I do. But, you know, I can only judge on what I see. So far, Jack has looked like quite an accomplished boxer. That left hook there looks lovely, he throws. Yeah, another lovely left hook there again. Jake Butler from Essex in the black shorts with red on and Jack Watson boxing out of Whistable Kickboxing. He's got the Laria shorts on there with a purple sequin with a blue waistband. Another great shot there by Jack Watson. Yeah, and again another great shot there. I think Jake's really going to have to step it up to beat Jack. Jack has been so busy in the gym, he's so confident, and Jack does mean business. This belt means a lot to him, and I'm sure Jack will pick up more belts. Yeah, Jack looks a great counter puncher so far. He's slipping shots, catching Jake with other shots. Jack getting a few shots there, shouted out from his corner men. Sometimes I don't advise by that. I think the cat, I think the corner men shouting out shots to throw. You know, both fighters can hear that. Could end up causing your own fighters some trouble sometimes by shouting out shots to throw. And the other guy reads it, but you know, each to their own. Jake Butler looking a bit slow, you know, looking ah, oh, lovely shot there by Jack. There's the end of round one. Jack Watson wins that round for me there quite clearly. Jake Butler didn't really have a lot to offer. You know, come all the way down from Essex. It's going to be a game fire. But Jack Watson there definitely looks like a lot stronger and a lot better boxer. I'd like to see a bit more from Jake. I mean, he called it on with Jack. He was confident he was going to take his belt, but he needs to be a bit busy, I think, for me, guys. Um, Jack's a quality fighter. Jack's going to put it on him all four rounds. So, yeah, Jake definitely needs to come out. Well, you know, round two coming up, then here we go. Let's see if Jack can step it up again now, going into round two. Jake 
Dave Butler's got to come out now, though. He's got to come out and give it a little bit. He can't come out and be defensive like he was in that first round. Because Jack Watson has just picked him off. Jake Butler's got it all to do then. Here we go. Round two or four in this Kent light well, well awake battle. Four championship rounds. Yeah, Jack looks like they're much more composed. Picking his shots off there, lovely. Jack's picking that lovely shot there. Jake looks well as well. Jake looks like he's setting himself into this round a bit more now, trying to throw a few shots. Yeah, he's found a bit of confidence here. Oh, lovely right hand there. Lovely right hand there for Jack Watson. Count punch. Spencer Walton's going to give Jake Butler a standing eight count there. He did take a knee. Lovely shot for Jack. They're telling Jack to finish him now. I can see the corner. I think Jack is really going to put it on him now and he'd like to get the stoppage. Well, here we go then. Let's see what Jack's got about him. Has he got the finishing in him? From what Liam said about him so far, he seems to think that the man has got it in him. I'd like to see it. Yeah, Jake just doing well to tidy up there. Struck, tie him up. Get your breath back. Oh, another right shot. Oh, I don't think Jake wants to. Yeah, it doesn't look like Jake's taking these shots too well here. I don't think he wants too much more of this. Jack looking now just to finish it. Oh, lovely little counter left there from Jack. Jake's just waiting a little bit too long for me to throw his shots. You know, the shots are there to be taken, but Jake just don't want to let them go by the looks of it. He needs to up his game because if Jack carries on, I think Jack is going to stop him. I'd like to see Jack get the stoppage. I mean, he's trained so hard for this, but like I say, one punch in boxing, you never know, but Jack is really putting the pressure on now, and I think he's going to see this through. Yeah, Jack looking absolutely incredible. These body shots are unreal. Jack looks well, to be fair to him. Jake's tongue's out there. Look, he's calling him on. End the round two then. Jack again winning that round quite convincingly. Don't know what the corner men are going to say to Jake in the blue corner. How they're going to rile him up for here. Jack just looks a much, much higher quality fighter for him. They're telling him to take a seat. Round three coming up at four. This fight sponsored by Buddy's Roofing, Top Munch Cafe, The Car Shop. All of these fights will be going out on YouTube. We're here at Gillingham Football Stadium at Priestfields for a night of boxing championship fights. Belts to be won. Pride and Glory, November the 3rd. Great Britain Boxing Union. Jack's out. Jack's up and out early. I think he wants to get this one done. Yeah, Jack's looking confident now. He's out off the stall. Ready to go. Spencer gives the blue corner one more shot. Tell him the seat's got to go. Jay Butler's up though. He's out in the middle of the ring. Round three. Here we go. They touch gloves. I'd like to see Jack really step it up now though. Push in a bit on this round. Try and finish this with a bit of class. Jake's really got to try and cover up, step it up a bit. He's even got to go for it. He was swallowing the knockout that he's going to get from a counter punch. I mean, he's losing this fight. He's got to try something. He just can't seem to get inside Jack's guard. Jack keeps him. He's such a good counter fighter. Do you know if he practices a lot of his counter shots in the gym or not? Yeah, they've always got him on that. But Jack's just a natural, guys. I mean... I've seen him a lot in the gym slip and work his way in. He's done good tonight, but he, he, he's slowed up a little bit and he's really picking his shots and picking them well for me. Well, here we go in now into the second half of the third round. It's Jack just having a little breather here, do you think? Perhaps maybe looking at trying to get his breath back and finishing it in the fourth, maybe. Fair play to Jake, though. He's still in there. He's still game. He's just not doing enough work for me. He's eating too many shots. Any time he gets in range, he ties himself up. He has a little look at his corner there, guys. Yeah, Jake having a little look down into the blue corner there, like he's had enough. He's eating shots. Oh, there's a lovely shot again. He shakes his head, though. You know, one of the old famous sayings in boxing is a player that shakes his head at you. That means you hurt him. He's shaking his head. He was hurt by that shot there. He must have been. They're both tied up now in the middle of the ring. 
Jack's really looking now to finish it up. Much neater boxer though. Good shot, and again. Yeah, Jake Butler ain't shaking his head no more. He don't want no more of them. Last 10 seconds of round three coming up. Oh, lovely again from Jack. Yeah, Jack, Jack's winning this fight all day long. He's won all three rounds. You know, it'd be nice to see him get the finish. Jake Butler's coming back into his corner now. He's absolutely demoralised with this fight, surely. I think Jake would like to hold on and get all four rounds out of the way. See this fight out without a knockout, but Jack schooled him for me, guys. Yeah, great performance from Jack. Whistable Kickboxing Club must be happy with him tonight. One of the better fighters, you know, they've been unlucky tonight. A bit upset earlier on with the actual friend decision, but once again, from my point of view, I thought that Luke Firth won that fight quite comfortably, two to one. Thought actually didn't really have a lot in the end of the third round. But Whistable Kickboxing back in again. Jack's got to finish this fight now. They had a winner earlier on with Luke Grant as well. Jake Butler's got to come out now though. Jake Butler's got to come out and give it absolutely everything he's got and try and win this fight with a knockout. It's going to take a knockout for him to win as well. I'm going to stick up for my gym there, guys. I think um, the Paul Willard knockout won a knockout. He slipped. <laughs> and I'm going to say that Ashley Fred won. <laughs> yeah, listen, that's fine. At the end of the day, they're your gym. <laughs> Paul was unlucky though, he got a game, he, you know, he took it to Josh Munning, but he got unstuck with the fight he had, but back to business here with Jack, Jack is stepping it up now, fourth and final round, lovely, lovely right hand there from Jack, he really does throw that right hand well, left hook, absolutely lovely, and again, that left hook is sharp from Jack, ah, oh, the body shots as well, yeah, Jack's going out for the win here, what stoppage. Fair play to Jake Butler though, he's called out a top fighter. You know, he's come up stuck tonight. He stood there, he took everything that Jack's had to offer though. You can't knock him for that, Liam. He has took a lot of shots. Nah, yeah, he has, guys. I mean he's got some um he's got some balls. He's done really well tonight, but I just think Jack's really, really put it on. I mean, he's put the fireworks on tonight. I think um Jake done well to turn up tonight. Like I said, he didn't know if he wanted this fight. And to me he was already a bit of fighter pulling out twice. Yeah, Jack looks lovely here. Yeah. Is he going to go for the stoppage? It looks like he is. No. He's blown himself out here, maybe. No, he's looking sharp again. Nice right hand again there for Jake. This has been an absolute schoolboy performance. He has absolutely showed Jake Butler out of the box. He's cocked him with so many shots. It's been unbelievable. Lovely straight right again. Yeah, Jake's just messing up his work here, tying him up. Just trying to see the four rounds. Ah, oh, lovely another right hand there again. Looks like Jack Watson's got himself six wins out of six. And another title with Kent Lightwell, a weight title, four rounds to zero for me. Jake Butler not even winning one from Essex. Fair play to Jake though, Gaz. He's done all four rounds. He should be very proud of himself. And yeah, I mean, he's come here, he's took a lot, but brilliant performance from Jack. And unlucky to Jake. He, took, he called him out, but yeah, well done, Jack. Unlucky Jake. Yeah, well done, Jack. Unlucky to Jake there, that's unlucky. Called the fight on, you know, come unstuck against a great fighter. Looking fit, looking sharp. I'd like to see Jack now step it up against another opponent. Someone a bit better, a bit of a better classy fight. We're going to go now over to the ring announcer for the announcement, but I think it's pretty clear for all of us here who won that fight. Jack won that quite clearly, four rounds to zero for me.